Okay, a little bit of a different project. I think I did a video on this, but I think it was only like a vlog type. So we're gonna do like a real official video on this here today. Uh, but uh, this, the car capsule showcase that I keep out in the pole barn here as my solution to rodents uh, is, uh, is something that needs to be cleaned every year if I wanna keep it looking nice. Uh, or at least keep it so that it's not so nasty that it's, uh, that it's almost unusable. Uh, and so the, the advantage of the showcase out here is that I can leave it, you know, leave it open and I pull in and I zip it up. I have some lights. We'll show you all that stuff. But I have some lights uh, that I have on a timer. And so the lights go underneath the car to shine up under. Uh, so the theory here is that um, if uh, I know this isn't going to stop a road and a rodent can chew, chew through a brick wall, but, uh, but at least I'll know if there's a hole in it, I'll know that something's in there. Uh, having the lights at night has been a good deterrent the last uh, couple of years since my, uh, my blue GT3 got uh, eaten and cost, uh, I think, what was it, like seventeen or $18,000 or something like that. Maybe it was thirteen. It was, it was a lot of money to get fixed. So uh, the simple cleaning method I use for this thing is I'm going to use a broom and I'm going to use Dawn. And, uh, and that's really all we have to do. Uh, but if you do have a showcase and you do want to clean it, this is the way I would suggest. I've had a really good success with it. I've done this probably four times now, something like that. Uh, I have some leftover all-purpose cleaner from doing my engine bay, so I'll just leave that in there. should be fine. I'm going to add some Dawn. Of course, Dawn has a really insane surfactant, so it does a pretty incredible job of foaming. But Dawn, on like a car surface, will leave a bunch of residue, so I try to try to avoid that. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm never, I'm not really going to visit a bucket. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to fill up a, or the rinse bucket just so I can fill these up. Uh, but actually, I might just go over to the side here and fill them up. Uh, the reason why I'm filling two foam cannons, we'll probably need at least two foam cannons worth. Uh, but I'm going to foam down one side of it. Uh, push it in a little further, foam down another panel, probably push it back out, turn it around, uh, and then foam it again. But the way that, that, that I find best for this is that um, if I keep it on, so I have the little computer fan on, so it's expanded outward so the water doesn't just sit on the top. Uh, the interior of it's pretty clean. I find every two years I need to go in and sort of disinfect that because it starts to get a little moldy. Um, it won't be perfect inside, uh, but, uh, but I, don't, I don't really want it's too hot. I don't want to get in there and clean the inside of it. So I'm probably just going to do the exterior uh, and then next year probably uh, clean the interior. But the best time to do this is after pollen season. So the unfortunate part is it's also the hottest time to do it. Uh, so after pollen, probably best in you know, June, early June is when I normally do it after all the pollen's gone. Uh, then I get another good you know, year out of it staying pretty clean. Uh, but you have to remember, the you know, flora is pretty funky. We get this funky, tropical moldiness that, that happens. So anyway, let's go out and uh, get set up. I'm going to fill these up. Uh, I'm going to be using a 15-degree, uh, uh, this is a 6.0 nozzle, which works best with my pressure washer. So I'm going to get a little bit more concentrated um, stream, and we're going to clean the sucker up. So let's go outside. So first thing I'll do is just try to rinse it as much as possible. Start at the top. Two little baby ladders here. I'll take the filter off and clean that afterwards. You'll see how nicely this thing cleans up so, so quickly once we put some Dawn on it. All right. So just like a car, I'll do it top down.
Makes you wanna makes you wanna wash your car with Dawn, doesn't it? Again, this is the one with some APC in it as well. So remember, the intended use of this uh, this car capsule, this is not what it's intended for, but I'm using it out here. This is my second one, and actually, the only reason I did this was because I was trying out the 18, what am I doing? I was trying out the 18 uh, foot version, but there really was no dire need for me to replace my one that was like three years old. Just a regular old broom from Home Depot. And, so believe it or not, this actually works pretty darn well getting it cleaned up. This is how we used to wash our cars. This is how some people still wash their cars. I think you'd be better off just leaving your car dirty. I also found it's not actually that bad. This project I always dread doing it usually takes me an hour or so. I shouldn't wait so long. I should do it. Do it sooner. So I sell these things. I don't know that I would recommend this, but. Seems to work for me. When I first did it, it was so dirty and gnarly, I was just willing to ruin it. I was like, well, I'm gonna get a new one. So I figured I would just have to buy one every couple of years. And when I cleaned it up, it cleaned up so well with no damage to it. it just worked great. So now, I'll spray it off show you how freaking clean it looks. It also gets super funky underneath and so I, I already pre-cleaned that. So that way it could hopefully dry off a bit before I push it back in place. All right, so let's, uh, I'm gonna push this thing in a little bit more this way, and we'll clean the middle section. You know, before I had the camera and the YouTube channel, I used to, in the business, I used to do so much more of this kind of home project stuff, but it's super satisfying when you get it done. All right, let's foam it up. Boom pole is not exactly designed for this type of size. Hands are all slippery from the soap. Top down. Ugh. Oh, this is gonna be awesome to have this clean again. Had the ladder facing the wrong way. I mean, all I'm really doing is just agitating it just so it frees up the nastiness. I think what I might do is I might do a quick wipe down, not a full pressure washing, but a wipe down of the inside. I'm not sure that it looked like I just jumped in a pool. It's actually better being shorter on this lower 
ladder. I can pull down on the brush better. What did you do on a Thursday? I did a deep cleaning of my car capsule. Yeah, it's better to subsection it off. That way your stuff doesn't get dry, but I think we're okay. We're done. The outside. <clears throat> Whole wash bay gets a cleaning while it's at it. Awesome. Let's pull this filter off, get this thing cleaned up. Some nasty crap, nasty spiders and stuff. Here. That. Like brand new. Set this off to the side and let it dry off. These things tend to fall apart. Just so gotta be kind of careful with them. So sucking air. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a bucket of Dawn. I'm just gonna wipe down the walls inside. I can't help myself. If I wipe it down, then it'll, uh, I'll get rid of kind of the moldy on the moldiness on the inside. All right. Let's do this quickly. Got a little bit too much soap. I don't really want that much. Yeah. This is not gonna work out like I planned. Let's pull the lights out of here. Just hose it out. This is what happens when I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna wash my M3. Like, you know, probably be better to wash the car capsule first, then I can wash the M3. Then, oh shoot, one bucket dummy. Then I'll have a clean car capsule and a clean car. Nine hours later and my M3 is not clean. Tell you what, it is nice though, going back down to Civics, getting the stereo put in, so it's not here. All I have is the truck, the M3, and the GT3. The GT3 is clean, so one of the cars is clean. The M3 will be clean, and then maybe I'll clean the truck this weekend. And it'll be looking great. Let me zip this up. Oh shoot, I got the whole roof. A lot of this is about the just agitating it and breaking loose any dirt and mold and funk. And letting, leaving the dawn sit on there to kill it. What else would I be doing? I'd be sitting on the couch watching Heartland. It's my new show. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> I can't stop watching it though. The simpler the show, the better. I don't need any drama in my life. All right, let me open this front door. Let's freaking spray this thing out. Make a big mess. I need to get a little 25 foot extension hose for out here. Now that is what a clean, clean car capsule looks like. Just grab a leaf blower and blow it out. We're looking good. Got the 650 out. Blow the sucker out.
So now, what we'll do is put the computer fan back on, we'll close it up and it'll dry itself out. I'll probably order a new fan. I like to replace the fan periodically. It's not super expensive. I think it's 20 or 30 bucks to get a new one. So we still have a bunch of water in here that we'll have to let what we can dry and then I'll come and blow it out again. It's best to use a towel in here so you don't end up with some spider wanting to rip your hand off. So you can see what I do here with the Gorilla Tape, which I'll redo once this thing dries off. I'll probably redo it once I get it back into position over on the other side. But I'll, once I get the fan set up, I'll probably let it sit here for overnight. And I'll probably move it tomorrow. Move it back into position. So yeah, it's not looking promising for the M3 getting cleaned. So the fan, the way this works is the zippers become like a little filter. All right, so when we zip it up, the fan pushes air, and then when it expands out, then air kind of seeps out the zippers. And so even if you put a wet car in, it still kind of dries out on its own. So you can see this fan just has some Velcro on the side of it. Just make sure it's not wet. Put it back in place. So this is a little light contraption I came up with. I bought these lights from Home Depot, put a couple of black power cords together. That way it shines up at the car. I thought it was a pretty smart little, little contraption. And then I have a timer on here. It's set from 6, 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. to the light goes on at 9 p.m. And then what we do, take my Pro-Lock. All right, that's a wrap. So it did take a couple hours to clean it inside and out. We'll kind of see how it, how it does inside, but I clean the filter. I'll re-tape it once I get it back into position. Uh, just to cue you in what I did, I'll just push it. It slides right on the concrete. I'll back it, slide it right back into position over where it belongs, kind of where the camera's sitting right now. And uh, I'll hope to do it when everything's dry over there, help with keeping mold and funk from under, sitting underneath it, at least for a while. So now I got a fresh, fresh clean car capsule, and that'll last me another year or so, and we'll have to do it again. It's part of the, part of the deal. So anyway, thanks for watching. I know this is a little bit odd, but uh, I'm a little bit of an odd dude, so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. I'll uh, keep you up to date on the showcase as we uh, as it gets older. See you soon.